What's up you guys? Welcome back to another video. Um, it is 8 o'clock in the morning. This is going to be a what I eat in a week. A lot of energy right now, I think, because I didn't get the most amount of sleep last night. So if you're new here, what's up? Hey, how y'all doing? But anyways, if you're interested in this video, like, comment, and subscribe. I have a meet this weekend. It's at Tiger Paw. Well, it's not at Tiger Paw. My brain is like all over the place right now. Um, it's at Clemson, but the meet is called Tiger Paw Invitational. Favorite meet, best track. Super excited to run there good stuff but well, this is going to be kind of what i eat in a week um because i feel like what i eat in a day is just too it's just too short to really show y'all you know everything that i eat and how my diet usually is i just came from weights my hands are literally disgusting and they are literally in pain i'm about to head to the grocery store so that i could grab some food to cook for breakfast so that's where we're headed right now let's go getting McDonald's because I was being lazy I'm not gonna lie and like I said this is a real and authentic of what I eat in a week so sometimes when I want to be lazy I just get a soft and cheese McGriddle and throw some grape jelly on it and just like that it's breakfast but you know what I did go to the grocery store and I did get some oatmeal so the healthier side of my breakfast this morning if i have enough energy i'll possibly make a green smoothie for breakfast um but i'm gonna see how i'm feeling it depends on how full i am but i'll probably just do a green smoothie before practice Baby, you me um i wish i had a speaker or a little microphone i mean so y'all could hear how i chew because i heard that the way that i chew is actually very satisfying so maybe i'll do an asmr in my years to come. Stay tuned. Hi, Last thing on the menu for now is oatmeal with some apple cubes and some brown sugar. I had to add my own brown sugar. I've actually never gotten oatmeal from McDonald's before, but Robbie put me on, so I'm gonna try it out. Um, and crazy to think I got oatmeal that takes literally 60 seconds to cook but guess who bought it in the store and at McDonald's this dumbass so I got <laughs> this guy this guy right here but I did grab some bananas for my smoothie I just finished eating I'm not super full but I'm good enough I don't feel like making a smoothie right now so I'm about to shower and take a nap and then wake up um because i got practice at three so i got some time to figure out what i'm gonna eat once i wake up and i keep dropping stuff i hope y'all can see that like this is my weight room outfit today so it's just like and i i did um roll them up a little so yeah i'm about to shower and take a nap What's up, y'all? I am back. I just woke up from my nap, as you can tell, and I decided to go to Vinaigrette. It's a salad spot right by my house. I've been here, living here for about almost two years, and I've never, ever, ever been because I'm not a big salad person. I'm not a big salad girl. Like, I'll eat one at Panera Bread, and then that's as far as I'll go with the salad thing. I don't know what it is. It's just like I'm real basic when it comes to salads. I do like chicken Caesar salads, but it's just me going out my way to get a salad. It's just like it's who is she you know so i don't know bread without butter is just like it just does nothing for me but i was actually gonna go to firehouse subs and get their like jerk chicken little sub like four inch for extra small something like that but i was like let me let me get let me get a salad let me try let me try a salad so we're trying um a salad before practice why is the Caesar dressing spicy? What did I get? Some got a little kick in it. Yeah, I don't, I'm not really understanding. And shout out to my merch. 
Go cop y'all's link is in the description box below. Um, and also in this salad, I just have cucumbers and purple onions. And I'm gonna definitely have to brush my teeth after this because you know they're purple onions, but I think that she accidentally added spicy Caesar dressing because it's just like I'm I like spicy food, but like a spicy salad. Alright y'all, so I tried. I tried, but it's still so much left. And I just can't take it. It's just not good to my liking. It's too spicy. And I don't feel like I should be coughing from a, a chicken Caesar salad. You know? So I'm actually ordering an acai bowl on DoorDash right now. Just something to hold me over before practice. Yeah, I should have just went on my gut the first time. And I should have just got the Firehouse Sub sandwich. Because, like, anything that has bread and protein in it or carbs and protein, it just fills me up. It does what it needs to do for me at practice. And every time I try to deviate from what I know, it backfires. So... Waste of money. Um, I'll probably save it in the refrigerator just so that Robbie will eat it. Like he literally will eat any type of leftovers that I have because he does not believe in wasting food, and I don't either. But it's just if I pay for something and I expect something, and I don't get that, then I'm just like, Ugh. and I don't need nothing spicy on my stomach prior to practice. Um, so yeah, we are. Waiting for my DoorDash order right now. I'm about to go get ready for practice. I'm about to film that. So hopefully y'all will already have seen that by now. Okay guys, so my acai bowl arrived. So I got some coconut shavings, some bananas, some honey, some strawberries and blueberries. And then of course the acai berry mix. I'm about to crush this real quick. And I love when it's like kind of melted looking. Like, look at that. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna catch that when I'm done. Because this is the perfect consistency. All right y'all. So this is dinner for tonight. Y'all know it's Chipotle. With Robbie and my friend Megan, y'all know she be on all my vlogs. So I got a burrito with white rice, black beans, chicken, corn, sour cream, a little bit of medium, a little bit of pico with the one and only salad dressing, y'all. Make sure y'all try this. Um, it's a DMV thing, but I think other people have started to find out about it. So yeah, we're about to eat. You got a salad dressing too? You started eating it? See y'all, put her on. Did you have a great dinner? Good, man. Good guac. Chicken. Juice. Good quality queso. You didn't even eat queso, you're just talking. <laughs> Megan, did you enjoy your food? I had a great Yeah, all that trash. Megan always cleans up. She's literally the mom. Spelly was amazing. That's it for today's portion of this vlog. Everything that I've ate has been shown and documented. Yay. I'll catch y'all tomorrow morning when I figure out what I gotta eat for breakfast. Alright guys, don't be mad at me. Um, I literally just left first watch. I know the breakfast spot and I forgot to record my meal. But I tried something new today. It was like a bacon, egg, and cheese. Bacon, egg, avocado, and cheese on a brioche bun with just the water. But y'all was so hungry and I was just trying to eat because I had practice in about two hours but we're running today. So I was just making sure that my food was just gonna be digested by the time practice came up. So, sorry y'all, I did not record my meal. Like, it just slipped my mind. But it's the thought that counts that I told y'all. <laughs> Um, I probably won't eat again until after practice, so I'll see y'all then. So I just finished practice, and my camera's now focused on me. And I'm at a training table. This is like the athlete dining hall that we get to eat at after practice. Um, I'm about to see what they have on the menu today. We really got some asparagus. I'm gonna get some asparagus, some, some type of pasta. Asparagus look thick as well. They do. I'm gonna show y'all what they have on the menu. My fault, double green. Okay, so we got some pasta marinara with some ground turkey, some asparagus, some lemon pepper wings, and then 
a pork loin, but it be too dry for me sometimes. I'm gonna just taste it, try it out, and yeah. Say hi to the vlog. Hold on. Hello. This is a what I eat in a week. So everyone kind of has different portions and different options on their plate. How do I look in the camera? <laughs> oh lord. What do you guys think about the food for today? About the food? Yeah. yeah. It's alright. You didn't even eat it yet. No. <laughs> I'm just basing off this plate first. Yeah, okay. But I'll see you guys after I eat. I have a massage <laughs> after this. Oh, so, this isn't going to be the last meal of the night, but this is just a post practice snack. I'll catch you guys when I'm done. Yeah, guys. Say bye, Rob. Thanks. Okay, guys. Snack of the night. Smoothie King. Um, I got a Caribbean whey with whey protein. Try it out. You know, very good. I've been getting it for years. And Robbie got the pineapple surf. Yeah, pineapple surf. All right, so we're going to try each other's because mine's is good. And he's good too, right? Mm hmm Let's go. Let's go. It tastes like bananas. Yeah, you know I like bananas. Yours just tastes like pineapple. I like mine better. Do you like yours better? <laughs> Do you like yours better? I like mine better. I don't know if I'm gonna eat anything else tonight. If anything, I wanna eat some cereal. I'm gonna go to the store and grab some milk. I don't know, it's still kinda early, but it's kinda late, but I just need to go to sleep. This is the daily thoughts that are on my mind when it comes to eating on a day-to-day -day basis, but about to head back home. I'll catch That's you guys when I call. eat again. <coughs> <laughs> Bye. All right, guys, I folded. Made me a bowl of cereal. It's 11.13 at night. Um, don't mind my hair. I'm just chilling, watching LeBron's game to breaking the scoring record. So That's what I'm doing right now, but bone apple tea. Definitely too much in my mouth, and it was cutting the roof. <laughs> but now, I'll see y'all tomorrow once I start eating. Okay. Good morning, you guys. It is 8:38, and it is Wednesday of this vlog of what I eat in a week. So we are midway through the week. I just came from Waze, and I'm about to cook some breakfast. I did end up going to the store again. You're probably wondering why, like, damn, girl, you go to the store so much, and it's just because. It's literally like in my neighborhood so it's very much a bad crutch but i love that i have a grocery store when i just need something i can run home and cook it immediately once i leave the store you know super simple anyways i got some more eggs um i think i'm gonna do another bacon egg and cheese i'm gonna make my own bacon egg and cheese um because i did have a bacon egg and cheese is that yesterday wow but i'm gonna make it at home in my own toaster oven that robbie got me i don't know if y'all could see oh yeah yeah that probably got me, so I'm about to get into it. Like I said, I just came from weights, and I'm gonna make me a green smoothie. And of course, y'all, I forgot to mention, I hydrate like throughout the day. I try to drink, if I'm being very truthful, I try to drink two, but sometimes one and a half is consumed. You know, it's all about being true to ourselves. So I'm about to pull out this griddle, I'm about to cook. This shouldn't take too long. Um, and yeah, let's get into it. Yeah.
literally finished making my breakfast. It would have been so much quicker if I didn't have to cook for me and Robbie, but he's literally sleeping in my room right now. Um, but y'all see bacon, egg, and avocado and cheese. With mine has um grape jelly on it because I don't like dry sandwiches. So yeah. I also have a fish oil and a multivitamin that I take every day with my green smoothie slash drink. I put a little too much orange juice, so it's a little liquidy, but it's okay as long as we have the benefits of the greens in there. And of course, my water on the side. My camera's about to die, but I'm about to finish this, take a shower, and I'll catch up with you guys once I'm done. I'm back, I'm rejuvenated. I took a little tiny nap, like maybe for like 45 minutes to an hour, and I'm about to go into my internship. Um, so before I go, I'm about to eat this beautiful, not that pocket, this beautiful acai bowl. It has bananas, um, strawberries, blueberries, and granola on it. And then I like to get granola on the side of the crunch. Like, it's just something about it that like, adding more just really does it for me. Um, so this is gonna be my snack. It's 1.59 right now. I have a team meeting at six. I probably will be hungry after eating this in about maybe an hour and a half, two hours. Cause I did get a cookie too from this natural juice shop. And it's a gluten free cookie. As you can see, I've already taken a few bites. And this is like my Wednesday snack. It makes me feel better that it's gluten free, you know? So yeah, this little snack is gonna hold me over um, before the meeting. And then after the meeting, I might go to training table and then go get sushi. So I'm about to eat this. Um, I'm doing really good with keeping up with everything that I'm eating. I'm so proud of myself. And I really hope that you guys are enjoying this as well. And it's gonna be a lot of common occurrences where you see me eating acai bowls and chipotle. Like those are the two consistent things that I eat like pretty frequently. So if y'all know me, I know that I love acai bowls and I love chipotle. So of course they're making an appearance in this video and it doesn't surprise me. And if you are a OG, it doesn't surprise you either. But I'm gonna catch you guys once I eat again. Y'all know the drill. Um, I'm about to sit, munch on this, and then go into my internship. So I'll catch y'all later. All right guys, just got out of my internship. It is 5.49 and a girl is starving. I am hungry. I'm about to head over to training table right now. And I heard that it's pretty good today. They got some salmon, they got some Alfredo. So I'm excited to munch on that. I'ma uh, show y'all once I get in there, but I gotta be quick. I'm taking it to go, like I said, cause I have a team meeting. So I'll see y'all when I get there. Y'all sorry I couldn't show you guys um, me making the play, but this looks too good. Got some Alfredo with some salmon, some chicken and some broccoli. Yes, I love carbs, I love pasta, and I'm, my mouth is watering, y'all, but it's six o'clock, I gotta head over to the meeting, so I'm gonna crush this in the meeting. Hopefully, I have enough room for sushi later tonight. Hey guys, I'm back, and I'm at Robbie's house at, well, not his house, his apartment. And I don't even know why I tell you guys that I might eat certain things because I end up going. Like, I already know what I want. I just be thinking in my head that I'm not gonna do it, but I always do it. So, last time y'all seen me, I was eating a good meal from training table. But, you know, that was at like eight o'clock. It's, no, it was at like seven. Actually, six. It's 10 o'clock. Oh no, nine o'clock right now. So, I got some sushi and some coconut crab soup. So, this is my meal of the night. This is a California roll. And it's from this spot called Blue Sushi here. One of the best sushi spots that I've been to, honestly. So fresh. Robbie ended up getting um, a Philadelphia with some sweet chili sauce. So yeah, that's what we're about to get into tonight. Hey man, all the non raw fish eating people, if you want to look sophisticated at sushi, ask for that Philadelphia, man. You look like you eating something for real. Look at that. It look legit. Did you ask for smoked salmon? Yes, brother. That's smoked salmon. All right, man, it looks smoked. <laughs> yes. <laughs> See, I know y'all might have seen this can. This is a carbonated beverage, all right? I don't You're drink, freaking sick. I don't drink these, but this is ginger ale. This is a Negro remedy. All right? <laughs> Just let me know. What's up, guys? I forgot to check in with you guys this morning. Last time y'all see me, I think I was eating sushi last night for breakfast. I went to McDonald's. I got a sausage and cheese McGriddle because we left super early. 
and I hash brown. So I didn't record it. But now I just remembered to record my meal at Panera. I got a U Pick 2. It's a Fontega chicken with no tomatoes and no basil. And a chicken Caesar salad. I'm gonna show y'all the chicken Caesar salad. I don't wanna really show y'all the, the sandwich because it look a little wicked. Cause I already done bit into it. So I'm trying to stay up because I'm recording two vlogs in one. So don't be confused when you see me with the same outfit, same hairstyle, same clothes, everything in a different video. All right. I'll show y'all my salad when I'm done eating my sandwich. I guess I'll show y'all. Yeah, very good. That's the cake. He's like, well, he's jumping regardless. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I keep forgetting to record what I eat now that I'm recording two vlogs. But I can show you the aftermath. I got a side salad from Chick-fil-A. And I got a five-count nugget. And I just tore up a piece, tore up pieces of the chicken nuggets, and I just put them in a salad, so it was like a little chicken salad. It's a chicken salad. And don't come for me, but I did put Chick-fil-A sauce on it. I forgot who told me that, but ever since I started putting Chick-fil-A sauce on my Chick-fil-A salads, them jones are top tier. Like, don't don't knock it till you try it. So. That's what I ate. I'm about to go to the shakeout. Like I said, y'all, I'm recording two videos at once. So just vibe. But we're about to head to the track. And I think I'm going to get Chipotle again once I get back. But we do have a good hibachi spot next to the hotel, too. So I might do that. Might not. I don't know. I just like to stick to what I know and what my body is used to prior to competing. So we're going to see when that happens. But we're about to head out to the track. And, yeah. My hair looks great. So this is breakfast on race day. Um, I honestly just find what's good on DoorDash. It's an omelet with avocado, onions, spinach, bacon, and a side of potatoes. So we're going to see how it tastes because, like I said, I'll just be ordering what looks good on DoorDash. What's up, you guys? I know you wasn't expecting to see me in my bathroom or even in this setting within this video, but of course, I had to come on here and tell you guys the rest of the rundown of everything that I ate because, like I said, I was recording two vlogs in one and it was really hard to record what I was eating and what I was doing as a track meet without getting confused. Like, I don't have two cameras, so I was just sticking with one and it was just really a lot. So, anyway, sorry that I look like this. It's Sunday at 8:53, and i've been lounging around all day so just just mind your business for real but anyways friday after you see me eat the omelet i did go to the track and i didn't eat anything prior to me running because like i said i had breakfast i don't want um like my stomach to feel heavy i don't want to feel too too full before competing so after the first round of the hurdles if you did watch my last vlog you would know of course what i'm talking about but i ate a jimmy john sandwich like i stated actually in the video i just ate some sandwiches and orange you know just to stay fueled um, so i ate a turkey jimmy john sandwich with like cheese mayo and mustard then i also had an orange it, they had like some little oranges in the um in the breakfast area during uh breakfast time at the hotel so i grabbed the orange because i love oranges and then for dinner that night after i ran i ate chipotle i wanted to get chipotle yesterday like the day before today that i'm talking about i hope it's not getting too confusing um but they literally said they ran out of rice, so I ended up going back for Chipotle because I was craving it. It just sounded so good, and it always fills me up. That's the one thing that I do really love about Chipotle is that it fills me up. I don't like eating and not feeling full, which is why y'all see me eat so much. Anyways, on to Saturday. For breakfast, I had Panera Bread. I got an oatmeal, and the oatmeal comes with brown sugar, cinnamon crunch, strawberries, and pecans. So that's usually my go-to um, on race days. Also with the oatmeal, I got a bagel, and I got a fruit cup. It's the same meal that I ate when I ran at Texas Tech when I broke the collegiate record. So that's like always my go-to meal if I can't eat it. Sometimes the strawberries are rotten, which throw me off. But... As long as I'm eating some oatmeal and something that's filling me up with some carbs or some protein, I know that I'm good. After the meet on Saturday, prior to us getting on the bus and going back to Lexington, well, I got hibachi and I got chicken with fried rice and then I poured some yum yum sauce over it with some vegetables too. Mmm, that thing was busting. That joint was so good for real. And I didn't eat the whole bus ride back because they gave us like some um some barbecue food but i've been eating it for like three four or five years now and i'm just over it so i didn't eat any of the barbecue that they provided for us so like i said i just ate the hibachi food but anyways after we got off the bus that day i ate the garlic parmesan chicken with 
mashed potatoes and broccoli from BJ's. BJ's isn't usually my go-to, but they do have a really good garlic um, parmesan crusted chicken that actually tastes very like high class. It doesn't take like, taste like you're eating at BJ's brew house. So just letting y'all know, I'm trying to put y'all on. Anyways, on to Sunday. I don't really remember what I ate for breakfast, but we did cook a bomb meal for dinner. We cooked, it was Super Bowl Sunday which was last Sunday, um, it was uh, white rice, mac and cheese, greens, um, some beef tips, and some baked chicken with like some good cream of mushroom. And it was so good, y'all. But yeah, um, just to wrap up this video, I know that y'all probably are like, oh, you eat McDonald's, oh, you eat this, you eat that. Like, I told you guys, this is a real, true, authentic what I eat in a week. Um, I try my best to eat healthy, but my metabolism is so fast. And sometimes I am lazy, which is okay. And sometimes I just don't feel like always cooking. Um, so I give myself a little grace. I know that I work really hard in practice and I know that for my body type, I burn it off. Um, of course, if I'm eating McDonald's every day, that just would not be healthy. But once to twice a week out of seven days, I know that it doesn't hurt me because it hasn't up until this point. But I am working on better eating habits. For the most part, I do eat a lot of eggs, toast, and some type of protein for breakfast. But sometimes I do get tired of eating scrambled eggs like I'm just like I'm over this scrambled egg thing which is why like I haven't scrambled any eggs in so long just because like I feel like I eat it all the time so yeah like I said um this is really true authentic to how I truly do eat in a week I wasn't trying to change up anything for y'all like this is really just how I live my life how I do what I need to do I just make sure that I hydrate and like I said this is what works for me my body type and who I am as an athlete there's always things that we can work on and get better at but I have a really really fast metabolism I don't count calories I don't track anything. I just try to eat, of course, like protein in the morning. Since I have a protein and carbs prior to practice for energy. After practice, I just like to eat some protein and some carbs. And for dinner, honestly, the same thing. I'm a really big carb girl, y'all. I love rice. I love pasta. Um, and I, I love protein. Like, I love chicken, fish, you know, steak, whatever. So, that's just, like, honestly what I eat. I just try to eat within, um, like, the my food plate. Always try to have a green on my plate. Always try to have some carbs, some type of protein and just hydrate and sleep i'm gonna do another video on a couple of holy grails that i believe that will maximize your recovery routine that i think that will really help you guys because i think that that plays a really big role within the success that i have on the track as well like nutrition is really major but of course it's a lot of other pieces to the puzzle that make the whole performance come to life so yeah y'all i just wrapped you guys up nothing new thank y'all for 30,000 subscribers we're going up road to 50k period I'm picking the winners for the giveaway on Tuesday. So if you haven't joined the giveaway, make sure you check out my YouTube shorts so that you can join before, you know, it's too late. Tomorrow is the last day because by the time I post this video, it's going to be Monday and the giveaway is going to be over on Tuesday. That's when I'm going to be picking the winner. So y'all better do it today. So yeah, period. All right, y'all. Love y'all so much. Thank y'all for joining my channel. Thank y'all for clicking this video. Like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.